Welcome to my channel and another one of my videos. To those that are new to my channel, welcome also. Today I am showcasing more of my commission work. This time it's the 1st Battalion of the 7th Regiment of Foot, or the Royal Fusiliers, that was part of the 4th British Infantry Division that was present at the Battle of Victoria in 1813. All these miniatures are 18mm and from AB figures from Melbourne, Australia. They are painted to my tabletop standard as requested by the client. And now we'll just have a little history of the um, regiment before we get close and have a look at the painted um, miniatures. The unit was formed as a Fusilier Regiment in 1685 by George Legg, 1st Baron Dartmouth, from two companies of the Tower of London Guard, and was originally called the Ordnance Regiment. Most regiments were equipped with matlock muskets at the time, but the Ordnance Regiment was armed with flintlock. This was because their task was to be an escort for the artillery, for which matlocks would have carried the risk of igniting the open tight barrels of gunpowder. The regiment went to Holland in February 1689 for service in the Nine Years' War and fought at the Battle of Walcourt in August 1689 before returning home in 1690. It embarked for Flanders later that year and fought at the Battle of Steen Kergu, if I pronounced that correctly, in August 1692 and the Battle of Landen in July 1693 and the Siege of Namur in summer 1695 before returning home. The regiment also took part in an expedition which captured the town of Rota in Spain in spring 1702 and then saw action at the Battle of Vigo Bay in October 1702 during the War of the Spanish Succession. The regiment then became the 7th Regiment of Foot Royal Fusiliers in 1751. Although a variety of spelling of the word Fusiliers persisted until the 1980s when the modern spelling was formalised. So it, it's, it's, there is a bit of a, um, a title um, change um, in spelling, so there is a bit of confusion um, when looking online um, for this particular regiment. Um, just going now into the American War of Independence. The Royal Fusiliers were sent to Canada in April 1773. The regiment was broken up into detachments that served at Montreal, Quebec, Fort Chambly and Fort St. John's. In the face of the American invasion of Canada in 1775-76, most of the regiment was forced to surrender. The 80-man garrison of Fort Chambly, or Chambly, sorry, attempted to resist a 400-man rebel force um, until it was forced to surrender. Um, this is where the regiment lost its first set of colours. Also, an 80, uh, sorry, 70-man detachment under the command of Captain Humphrey Owens assisted with the Battle of Quebec in December 1775. The men taken prisoner during the defence of Canada were exchanged in British-held New York City um, in December 1776. Um, here the regiment was rebuilt and garrisoned New York and New Jersey. In October 1777, the 7th participated in the successful assaults on Fort Clinton and Fort Montgomery and the destruction of enemy stores at Continental Village. In late November 1777, the regiment reinforced the garrison of Philadelphia during the British evacuation back to New York City. The regiment participated in the Battle of Monmouth in June 1778. The 7th participated in Tryon's Raid in July 1779. In April 1780, the Royal Fusiliers took part in the capture of Charlestown. Once Charlestown fell, the regiment helped garrison the city. Three companies were sent to 96th to assist with the training of loyalist militia companies. 
An 18 man detachment also sent to Camden, South Carolina to help build that tower's defences. The detachment were called were called to Charlestown for refitting in late August 1780. They were then mounted and sent to join Charles Cornwallis's army as it advanced towards Charlotte, North Carolina in early September 1780. The 7th mounted on horses along with two regiments of lawless militia cleared the region north of Georgetown, South Carolina of partisans while en route. The Royal Fusiliers handed over their horses to Lieutenant Colonel Bannistry, um, Tarleton's British Legion upon uniting with Cornwallis's in late September and then served as the Army's rear guard. Between October 1780 and early January 1781, the regiment, having lost about one third of its officers and men to sickness and disease, protected the communication and supply lines between Camden and Winsboro, South Carolina. On the 7th of January um, 1781, a contingent of 171 men from the Royal Fusiliers was detached from Cornwallis's army and fought under the command of Tarleton at the Battle of Cowpens in January 18, oh, sorry, 1781. The Royal Fusiliers were on the left of the line of battle. Tarleton was defeated and the regiment's colours were captured with the baggage wagons. A 19-man detachment from the regiment fought through North Carolina participating in the Battle of Guilford Courthouse in March 1781. Ultimately, the Siege of Yorktown where it served with the Regiment um, Light Infantry Company. There was another detachment which remained in the south under the command of, of Lieutenant, Lieutenant Colonel Lurid Clark. These men remained in garrison in Charlestown until they were transferred to Savannah, Georgia in December 1781. The Regiment returned to England in 1783. Now this brings us to the Napoleonic Wars. The regiment embarked for Holland and saw action at the Battle of Copenhagen in August 1807. During the, the gunboat war, it was then sent to the West Indies and took part in the capture of Martinique in 1809. And from there it, embar it embarked for Portugal that same year for service in the Peninsula War and fought at the Battle of Talavera. In July 1809, the Battle of Busaco. In September 1810, and the Battle of Albura in May 1811. The regiment then took part in the siege of Ciudad Rodrigo in January 1812, the siege of Badajoz in spring 1812, and the Battle of Salamanca in July 1812, as well as the Battle of Victoria in June 1813. It then pursued the French army to France and fought at the Battle of the Pyrenees in July 1813, the Battle of Orthez in February 1814, and the Battle of Toulouse in April 14. It returned to England later that year before embarking for Canada and seeing action in the capture of Fort Boyer in February 1815 during the War of 1812. A second battalion was formed in 1804 and also took part in the Peninsula Campaign from 1809 to 1811. Both battalions took part in the um, Battle of Alburia in 1811. After the war, the second battalion was disbanded. Okay, so now we'll just have a, um, a close look at the um, painted miniatures after that brief history. Um, as we come across here to the um, to this end here, which would be the um, the left flank of the um, regiment, so we have here we have the um, light company at the back there with the three miniatures with the green pom poms. Then we have the line infantry with the officer there, and then we come across here. We have some more 
line um, infantry officers. Now, as these are fusiliers, the uniforms are uh, very different to the line infantry. As you can see there, they've got the wings. Um, so that's the only difference, really, that they have. Um, so they technically had a, a light infantry uniform, except they, um, they didn't act as light infantry. Come across here, we have the two ensigns, which will have the regimental colours, and the king's colours, and over the back there we have the drummer, and then we have the pioneer, in the back there also, and then we have the mounted um, colonel. Now I added colonel, um, colonels to these um, fusilier regiments. Um, just to uh, make them stand out a little bit more for the client so that he can um, see them um, on the tabletop or identify them in his collection. We come across here, we have more of the, of the same, more um, privates with the um, line infantry there. And over the back there we have an officer of the Grenadiers with two Grenadier um, soldiers there. Um, have their sergeant in the end there as well. So that's the full regiment of the 7th Regiment of Foot Royal Fusiliers. There's 30 miniatures in total. So that concludes uh, my showcase of the 7th Regiment of Foot Royal Fusiliers. I hope you enjoyed the brief history and the showing of the painted miniatures. Uh, please comment, like and subscribe. Also don't forget to hit the bell so that you can get notifications of more of my videos as they become available. Um, thank you for watching and as always I'll try and get some photos at the end of this video just so you guys can have a close up um, look at the miniatures. Um, okay and um, I'd like to thank you again for um, watching my videos and also for subscribing. Um, until my next video, um, be safe and bye for now.